As part of our ongoing series, Two Americas, we're bringing you new perspectives, showing the America you know and the America you might not know. And as many people celebrate Thanksgiving today, there are people who are mourning. ABC Action News in-depth reporter Anthony Hill sat down with a group of Native Americans in the Bay Area to have a conversation about what Thanksgiving Day means to them. How do we gain this trust from a system that has con basically conquered our people? It's a tale of two Americas and two perspectives. While many people spend Thanksgiving with their loved ones and reflect on what they're thankful for, for other groups of people, it's a day filled with grief. If the truth is not told about what the real Thanksgiving was, it's like believing in the tooth fairy. I was invited by a group of Native Americans to have a candid conversation about what Thanksgiving means to them. Frank runs before them is from the Hunkpapa Lakota Nation. Alicia Norris is mixed with Onondaga and Oneida. Nadine Wari Zachary and her husband, Melvin Zachary, are both Mohawks. The story of the first Thanksgiving is usually told as the pilgrims and Native Americans coming together to enjoy a meal. But today, for many Native Americans, this is viewed as the beginning of colonization, cultural genocide, and being forced to convert to a religion that isn't theirs. You're not a good Catholic. I said, I don't want to be a Catholic. When did I ever say I wanted to be a Catholic? To many Native Americans, Thanksgiving is National Day of Mourning. It started back in 1970 to spread awareness about the Native American struggle and to provide another perspective on the history we're all taught. It's nice to celebrate, but without having the history, there is no celebration. Really look and say, what is the true history? What is the indigenous perspective? Read books by indigenous authors. Today, many indigenous people are still fighting for better health care, education, and environmental protections because they view the land as sacred. What I'm thankful on this day of Thanksgiving is what my grandmother did so that I can be here today. She not only thought about my lineage, but she thought about the, the child's lineage that she saved that day on, on December 15th on, in 1890. Frank Runs Before Them says his grandmother was shot two times while saving a baby during the Wounded Knee Massacre of 1890. This is a picture of his grandmother. Melvin says though he doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, giving is built into his indigenous culture and they've always done it. I remember when my great great grandmother, we'd be sitting down having a meal and somebody walking on the road going by, she'd go out and bring them in and make sure they ate before they passed her house. Thanksgiving to me is a day of mourning. Nadine says though today won't be a celebratory day, they will gather on Sunday to celebrate each other, their ancestors, and survival. So Sunday, we're going to have a meal at my house. Everybody's welcome. And we'll celebrate the fact that we're here, we love each other, and we won't give up. In St. Petersburg, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.